Want to rank first on Google with your Webflow site? Then you need a real SEO strategy, not just throwing some keywords into your content and hoping for the best. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the exact step-by-step -step process we use to help Webflow sites rank higher on Google. This is the same strategy we use to help businesses like Kajabi, Jasper, Sandlane and Axello to increase their traffic increase leads and dominate their niche. Here's what you learn. The SEO foundations you need to set up. Google Analytics, Search Console, meta descriptions, alt tags and more. How to structure your pages properly so Google understands your content. The exact keyword and backlink strategies that actually work. How to find opportunities your competitors are missing. And how to keep winning long term. By the end of this video, you'll have a proven SEO framework you can apply to your Webflow site today. First, setting up the basics. Before you can optimize anything, you need to set up the right foundation. Without it, your SEO efforts won't bring results. Here's what you need to do first. Set up Google Analytics. This is how you track your traffic, where it's coming from, and how people interact with your site. By analyzing user behavior, bounce rates and engagement, you can refine your SEO strategy to focus on what works, optimize underperforming pages and ensure that your content aligns with search intent. This directly impacts your rankings by improving user experience and increasing the likelihood of conversions. Set up Google Search Console. This helps you see what keywords you rank for, fix any indexing issues and submit sitemaps, which helps Google index your pages faster and ensures that your site structure is understood, improving your chances of ranking higher in search results. Write SEO titles and meta descriptions. Every page needs an optimized title and meta description with relevant keywords because these elements help search engines understand the page's content and relevance. Well-crafted titles and descriptions improve click-through rates, making users more likely to visit your site from search results. Add alt tags on images. Google can't see images, so always add descriptive alt text for accessibility and SEO benefits. Webflow makes this process seamless with built-in SEO settings, making it easy to update metadata, submit sitemaps and optimize your content. Second, use proper header tags. Google relies on header structure to understand your content. If your headings are random or even missing, your site won't rank well. Every page should have only one H1. This is your main title and should include your primary keyword. Use H2s for main sections and H3s for subsections and definitely avoid skipping header levels. This keeps your content organized and helps search engines understand the page structure. Now, you can optimize headers all day long, but if people don't know how to get to them, your SEO is still going to suffer. That's why the third step is improving your navigation structure. Google ranks sites that provide a clear and logical user experience. Your navigation should be structured in a way that groups related content together. To do that, use content clusters to organize related content and improve SEO. For example, if you have multiple pages about Webflow SEO, group them under a main pillar page that links to all related subtopics. This tells Google that your site has a structured hierarchy, helping search engines understand your expertise in the topic. Implement this by creating a hub and spoke model where your main page links out to detailed supporting content and those pages link back to the main pillar page. This strategy boosts rankings for both individual pages and the overall site. The most important pages on your site should also have the most internal links pointing to them. This tells Google they matter more than others. Four. Keyword research and backlinking. Keywords tell Google what your site is about and backlinks build authority, helping your site rank higher. Here's how to leverage both effectively. Use keywords naturally. Don't force them into every sentence. Instead, strategically place them in your titles, headers, meta descriptions and throughout your content in a way that feels both organic and helpful. To find the right keywords that will actually help you rank higher, 
follow these steps. Use keyword research tools. Platforms like SEMrush, Ahrefs and Google Keyword Planner help identify high value keywords. Analyze search intent. Look at the top ranking results for your target keyword to understand whether users are looking for information, a product or a service. Check keyword difficulty. Avoid highly competitive keywords when starting out. Instead, target long tail keywords with lower competition but strong search intent. Look at competitor rankings. Use tools like Screaming Frog to see what keywords competitors are ranking for and then identify gaps in your own content and choose terms that fit naturally within your content then align with what your audience is searching for. Optimize URLs. Ensure that they include relevant keywords and are clean avoiding unnecessary parameters. Build backlinks. Backlinks act as votes of confidence from other websites, telling Google that your content is trustworthy. The more high quality backlinks you have, the more authority your site gains. You can do it effectively by guest posting, building on broken links, which is where you find broken links on relevant websites and suggest your content as a replacement. You can also use partnerships, get featured in the news or use social media to attract backlinks naturally. Each backlink from a reputable, relevant site improves your authority, boosting your search rankings and making it easier for Google to trust your content. 5. Finding missed SEO opportunities Many sites miss out on easy wins because they don't analyze their competition. Here's how to find untapped opportunities. Use tools like SEMrush, Google Keyword Planner, Screaming Frog, Ahrefs and SEO Clarity to analyze what keywords your competitors rank for. Look for low competition keywords that your site could rank for with just a little optimization. Identify content gaps where your competitors are ranking but you're not and then create better content for those keywords. Utilize Webflow's built-in SEO tools to structure content in a way that search engines favor. Six. Do it long term. SEO is not a set it and forget it strategy. Google updates its algorithms, competitors change tactics and user behavior evolves. You can either do it in-house or hire an agency to do it for you. In any way, you need someone to trust with improving your SEO because long term it can be the difference between you spending thousands of dollars on ads to attract traffic monthly or just ranking first and attracting traffic organically. Now, even if you have the best SEO optimization on the planet and your website is slow, it won't matter how well you optimize it. Google still won't rank it high. That's why in the next video, I'll show you how to speed up your Webflow site so it loads instantly and ranks higher. Click here to watch that now. See you in the next video.